Jeffrey Hazlett is the Chief Marketing Officer and Vice President for Kodak, and he's a social media and marketing expert, and he's got a new book out that's getting a lot of attention from people, and it ought to. It's called The Mirror Test, Is Your Business Really Breathing? Good morning. Thanks for being available. Well, good morning, and it was great listening about the bridge. That was an unbelievable story. Yeah, I hope you'll get up here sometime and have a look around and enjoy Pure Michigan. It looks like with the work you do, you could deserve a little time off. Well, I get over to Traverse uh, City all the time when my mother lives over that way, so I get, I get up there from time to time. Oh, terrific. We just had the Cherry Festival and the Traverse City Film Festival, and <laughs> that probably makes Kodak happy that, the, that there is still is such a thing as film in this digital world, huh? Well, it's getting less and less. You know, we're doing about $15 billion of film five years ago, less than $200 million in consumer this year. Motion picture film still a big business, though. Well, let me ask you this. Is, is Kodak still breathing? It's still breathing. In fact, that's the impetus for the book itself was we had to do a mirror test on Kodak as well. We had to hold up a mirror to see whether it was going to fog the mirror, and it indeed did, and then make the changes like a lot of business owners have to do, and especially small businesses. You know, you need to look in the mirror from time to time, look around and ask yourself some really tough questions to make sure that you're, you know, not cheating yourself and making sure you're focusing on the right things. Well, that would be the tricky part. And I guess when you, when you talk about mirror tests, that's the name of your book, uh, to explain that. You would put a mirror uh, under someone's mouth to see if they would fog it up to tell if they were still alive. And, you know, when somebody's that involved in their own business, they're that close to it, it's their baby, it's their life, they may be the worst one to try to judge whether it's uh, going to make it or not, huh? Well, sometimes, but they're also the best because if you really get dig down deep and look in someone and talk to them about those kinds of things, you'll find out they really do know the answers. They were just afraid to maybe bring it out or didn't want to confront it, and that's what the book's all about is you need to confront it. Mm-hmm. So an, another mirror test you're going to have to do is look in the mirror and take a look around your business. Does it need to be refreshed, you know, dressed up a little bit because sometimes we kind of get into a rut about the way our business looks and we think it's okay, but yet... With some fresh eyes, it doesn't. Or even the people that you work with. Sometimes you need to take care of maybe moving some of those people along as well. I enjoyed the uh, the item in the book where you talked about the uh, Double Tree Hotel cookies that they put <laughs> out, the chocolate chip cookies, and that the fact that when you went to a hotel that was a non-Double Tree Hotel, you were thinking about those cookies and Double Tree Hotel. That was, it's, a, it's a small thing, but it, it put a big impact on you. Well, I tell you, uh, give you another example of how I can even update that story. I was speaking in Orlando day before yesterday, and after I spoke, someone said from the audience and actually tweeted out on Twitter that Jeff Hazlett should deserve a some cookies, some warm cookies, and a glass of milk. <laughs> and 15 minutes later, the Double Tree delivered them into the room. Oh, well, see, well, that that's, that's going the, the extra power now. of all this and the power of listening. And you know, you can be a small business and be utilizing the social media side. In fact, you should. It's a lot easier for a smaller business to do it than say a bigger company like Kodak because you don't have all the rules and the, mm-hmm. you know things that limit you sometimes in a big business. Mm-hmm. In fact, uh, the Cheryl Freeborough, she owns a car dealership. Uh, Hyundai of Lansing here, she said she's always had popcorn in the dealership uh, and and uh, that when she runs into people who say, every time I smell popcorn, I think about your dealership because my dad <laughs> took me there when I was a kid. And uh, my wife, uh, Dr. Christine Tenegli, is a dentist, and she has uh, always um, cloth napkins in the bathroom of her facility, a little thing like that that makes people feel special, and always some kind of gift. And believe it or not, there would be people who would say, I, I'm coming here because I heard you have a gift every month. It's exactly. a little that's things. A cool thing. You know, that's that value, a little, little extra value that you can add for a relatively little cost that people can, you know, kind of want to hang on to and want to be a part of. Everybody likes that little special thing that people give, a little extra. Mm-hmm. And that's a great way for a smaller business to be able to do something. And I know, you know, companies that do it, and I've, I've got a number of, uh, of examples in my book where companies have done very well just adding, I mean, even Tootsie Rolls to a box of ink that you would deliver out makes them makes loyal customers. Well, the book is called The Mirror Test. Is your business really breathing? And the one thing I like about it, too, is that, you know, business people, especially small business owners, are very busy, and they say, oh, man, how am I going to sit down with a book? This is a book that you can read very quickly. You can read it in snippets. You can jump around, and it will tell you, can you be successful, and why do you want to be successful, and what do you do if you are? Thank you very much, and welcome back to Michigan Through the Airwaves. Um, I can't wait, and I'll get back up next year for the Cherry Festival. That'll be terrific. Let's touch base when you do. That would be terrific. Jeffrey Hazlett is with Kodak, but he's the author of The Mirror Test. 
you might want to take it today. 35 after the hour, Michael Patrick Shields all across Michigan.